President Donald Trump was outside the U.S. Capitol building in Washington, D.C. delivering a speech to a massive crowd, when he suddenly reached under his podium, much to the shock of every spectator and security person there. He had spotted who was in the sea of people before him that had gone unnoticed by everyone else there and now we know who this person is and why the president did what he felt he had to do. The president was delivering a message at the 36th Annual National Peace Officers Memorial Service yesterday to honor our country's fallen police officers and the families of those who lost their heroes in the line of duty. The recognition was long overdue after eight years under the previous administration who demoralized the service and discredited the sacrifice often recognizing the criminals who killed or were killed by cops instead. The event yesterday ended on an incredible note last night when for the first time in history, the White House was lit up in blue for law enforcement something Barack Obama refused to do in his two terms in office. However, there was one incident that took place during Trump's address that's gone largely unnoticed but deserves all of the attention. As Trump was speaking, he happened to spot a six-year-old boy in the crowd. The president departed from his prepared remarks to direct a segment of time to this child instead. The boy's name is Micah and he's fatherless now after losing his dad in a gunfight last year during an apprehension gone tragically wrong while on duty in Phoenix, Arizona. What the president did when he saw Micah there was caught on tape and is nothing short of incredible for a number of reasons. As he spoke of praise for police officers, he set his eyes on this little boy while reaching under his podium and grabbing his personal hat he brought with him to the speech. And just to show you, by the way, how much I love our police, I said, oh, I'm going to need a hat because it's so windy today. Trump said during his speech while holding the hat he was referring to above his head. I said, when I got out of here, there's no way I'm going to put on this hat. So we'll leave off the hat. And this is for you, Micah. That's for our beautiful Micah down there. The president said in his remarks as he tossed his hat to the little boy who rightfully received the special recognition. While video of this simple, yet meaningful moment began to go viral, it seemed to have attracted more leftist hate than anything else. Liberals, who have proven to know no bounds and use children as targets of their hate for our president, turned their nasty remarks on this boy whose father was killed serving and protecting the people of Phoenix. To every child in America who has lost a mom or a dad in the line of duty, I want you to know your parents are American heroes, American heroes, the president said in his speech to these families of heroes. They died keeping us safe. They are the pride of our nation. And we will hold them in our hearts always and forever. Their sacrifice will never, ever be forgotten. These words in the hat tossing to the boy who lost his brave dad was all it took for the hate to come out across social media. Conservative Tribune reported, being angry at the six-year-old son of a fallen police officer being recognized by the president is pretty much a cardinal symptom of late-stage Trump derangement syndrome. Perhaps the left had been triggered by the tone of the rest of President Trump's remarks, where he had the temerity to, gasp, actually express his support for the men and women of law enforcement. What Democratic degenerates seem to struggle with is that the attention is now being placed where it belongs on the men and women in blue who go to work every day not knowing if they will come home at night to tap their children, like Micah, into bed. Trump made a promise to the audience yesterday no to know that my administration is determined totally determined to restore law and order and justice for all Americans, and we're going to do it quickly. Until now. The presidency was more concerned about disarming our officers and sympathizing with the families of thugs who died in the commission of a crime. Whenever a cop was killed, the past president wouldn't have even addressed it. However, that era officially ended yesterday when Trump tossed his hat to this little boy before saying, I want you to know that patriotic Americans of all backgrounds truly support and love our police. That's how you make America great and safe again. Please do not forget to subscribe and like and comment because we want to hear your voice and thank you for watching.